has in duty bound. Honestly and faithfully. Honestly and faithfully. Serve in the regular army. Serve in the regular army of the Union of India. Of the Union of India. And go wherever ordered. And go wherever ordered. By land. Discipline, confidence, and plenty of determination are what go into shaping the character of the nation's finest soldiers. We should never fail in our sleep. We should never accept defeat even to our shadows. Kya hum sab tayar hai? Yes, sir. They say that guns are the locks and keys of an empire. And in keeping with these words, history was made in the year 1962, when the artillery centre at Hyderabad was set up by Colonel Gurpratap Singh near the Golconda Fort of the erstwhile Nizam Empire. The centre, also known as the Centre of Excellence, has been noted for producing fine gunners ever since its inception. The mighty Golconda Fort forms a stunning backdrop for the soldiers as they begin their daily training at the break of dawn. Physical training plays a major role in a soldier's life. Every day at the artillery center begins with a rigorous session of outdoor drills and a string of adrenaline pumping activities that help ensure that every recruit is fit and at the top of the game. Part of this training includes a 10 km run that the soldiers undertake every week called the Josh Run. Though this may sound simple enough, they do it carrying a dreary 17 kilo weight in their backpacks. The drill is an important part of the artillery center and regular training under the guidance of an instructor. Make sure that every soldier puts his right foot forward at all times. Perfect timing and flawless coordination are what constitute the essence of the drills at the artillery center. Since their job may take them across the various terrains of our country, the artillery center ensures that its soldiers are well equipped for every situation by putting them through a series of assault courses designed to test the mettle of every soldier.
Apart from physical toughness, the assault course also teaches one about team spirit, mental strength and willpower. The soldiers are subjected to hands-on training in computer labs that come equipped with the latest and the best of technology. The center also has state-of-the-art vehicle simulation labs that are replete with the latest hydraulic trucks that simulate the rough terrains and harsh weather conditions that one might encounter. The instructors see to it that the recruits are thoroughly trained to handle various vehicles while following the safety and traffic rules. The recruits are also subjected to on-field truck driving on the outer ring road and national highways. The center provides the trainees with a state-of-the-art shooting range and the best of rifle training. The center has been a signature in the field of sports year after year for the fine line of sportsmen it brings out into the arena. The center boasts of several Olympic level sportsmen in boxing, rowing, athletics and marathon. There is a Water Sports Association of the Artillery Center at the Hussein Saga Lake where kayaking, rowing, canoeing and sailing are practiced and Olympians are nurtured. The Artillery Center is a paradise for athletes as it has the best of sporting infrastructure right from indoor stadiums and rings to outdoor pools and world-class synthetic tracks. Sports are an integral part of the Artillery Centre. The centre has excellent training facilities that help nurture the national and international players in various sports such as handball, basketball, football the teams at the artillery center display exemplary team spirit and zeal to win then tennis The Artillery Center also features a golf course in which the recruits practice golf and become elite golfers. The recruits are also made to participate in debate and quiz competitions to hone their communication skills. Trainees are given their first glimpse into the world of guns at the firing range. It is here that they get their initial hands-on training in handling rifles. The quarter guard drill is a ceremonial change of guard that takes place every day and holds a deep significance to one and all at the center. It's a constant reminder of the duties towards the nation and the army.
there is a saying that guns never lie and that God fights on the side with the best artillery. The soul of the artillery center lies in its gun and its pride in its gunners. To aid with their learning process, the center comes equipped with a well-stocked library that serves as a haven of knowledge for the recruits. The center trains the Greenhorns for a year to churn out field gunners, technical assistants, radio operators, drivers, regimental surveyors, staff duty clerks and specialist drivers. The training is divided into basic military training comprising mainly of physical fitness, weapon training and drill. While the advanced military training comprises of higher standards of technical training in gunnery, field artillery tractors, radio sets and special opto-electrical equipments. All of them are important assets of the artillery regiment. Given the amount of physical activity that is demanded of them, nutrition forms an important aspect of a recruit's life. The center's cook house ensures that they get wholesome and timely meals every day. The army band, the orchestra, never fails to invoke a sense of pride and nationalism in the listener. The more you know about the past, the better prepared you are for the future, goes an old quote. The artillery museum stands as a source of inspiration for all the young recruits. Another source of inspiration is the inspiring content in the form of cinema that the trainees get to view at the Ranbir Hall and the auditorium. India's beauty lies in its diverse people and the artillery center stays true to this spirit of India. People from various religious backgrounds enroll into the center, practice their own faiths and coexist in harmony. No duty is beneath oneself and is reflected in the form of the Shramdan or donation of labor that is followed here. The excitement in the air is palpable as the young men step out onto the grounds as their proud families look on. It is not hard to miss the glint of pride that shines of the faces of the nation's newest warriors. The artillery center, rightly called as the center of excellence, 
continues to stay on in its pursuit of delivering excellence at all times. This spirit of striving for perfection is reflected in the brave soldiers that are churned out by the center every year. <laughs>